Hi, everyone. I need to start flashing this sign at the beginning of all our videos so that you know who put this video together. So there you go. Enough of that. Uh, today's topic is marijuana legalization. And the short answer is yes. I support full nationwide legalization of marijuana. Here's my six reasons why. Number one, it would be far better for the Wyoming economy, and presumably we aren't the only state that that would be true of. A lot of money is currently leaving the state as people head for neighboring states where they can buy it legally. Why are we giving that money away? Our economy is struggling. Our state budget could sure use the sales tax, and we have an already thoroughly developed consumer base for these businesses. From a business and budgetary standpoint, it makes zero sense for this to continue to be illegal. Number two, doing time ruins lives. With marijuana currently being illegal, many people end up doing jail time for what is actually a pretty minor offense and a victimless crime. And people can't work from jail and careers are often interrupted. And having served time means that your future job prospects can be ruined as well. Families end up struggling unnecessarily, and losing a parent to the jail system can be completely economically disastrous when we live in a world where very few families can make it on a single income. And if the person arrested was already a single parent, kids can end up being abandoned to the foster system rather than being with the people who love them the most. On top of that, there's a lot of data that says that people of color, and especially Black, Latinx, and Indigenous people are charged and convicted at far higher rates and with far bigger penalties than white people for the exact same offense. Marijuana is a gateway drug, but not to more drug use. It's a gateway into our racist prison industrial complex. A connected point is that we should also be expunging records, meaning wiping them out, for people who have nonviolent marijuana-related convictions. If we make it legal now, we need to stop punishing people for old charges. Number three, marijuana is far less addictive and destructive than alcohol is, but public health was actually never the reason for criminalizing marijuana. The war on drugs has racist and classist roots. It was started by the Nixon administration, who wanted to find some way to criminalize Black people and hippies to try to control them. It has no real basis in data in terms of the human health impacts that were claimed as one of the side notes back then. Don't believe me? Here's a quote from former Nixon domestic policy chief John Ehrlichman. He says, quote, the Nixon campaign in 1968 and the Nixon White House after that had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. You understand what I'm saying. We knew we couldn't make it illegal to either be against the war or be black, but by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities." End quote. The fact that so many people today still think of pot as a hippie thing and black people as being more prone to addiction is a sign that they were successful at making those associations in the minds of the public. But trumped up science and bad policy from the 1960s should not be continuing to drive policy in 2020. Number four, criminalization reduces willingness to admit when there is a problem. Criminalization has been shown to make addiction issues with all drugs worse. No one feels safe getting help when they know that they may be admitting to something that will lead to criminal charges. In countries that have shifted from criminalization to seeing addiction as a public health issue, addiction rates drop remarkably quickly and more lives are able to get back on track. It's not that we never see addiction with marijuana, although it is pretty rare compared to alcohol and most other drugs. It's that approaching this as a crime is a proven ineffective way to handle it when it does happen. 
Number five, many people use marijuana as a safer self-medication for both mental health struggles and pain management. If we want to get a handle on the opioid crises in Wyoming, we need to legalize the best known substitute for pain management. And we have a serious issue in this state with suicide and a generalized mental health crisis with not enough services. While pot is not a good answer for all mental health struggles, it is a great one for some people and often has fewer side effects than pharmaceuticals do. Making people risk a criminal record in order to be pain free and have better mental health is cruel and inhumane. And many people are uninsured, so just legalizing medical marijuana and insisting on a doctor's prescription is actually not good enough. If we really value freedom, we need to give people more good options for their lives. The government on this one needs to get the hell out of the way and let people have more options for making their own lives functional. Number six, the climate gains would come easy. We need to plant a huge number of trees and other plants in a short period of time in order to bring the load of carbon currently in our atmosphere down. The fastest way to motivate a lot of Americans to do their part is to legalize marijuana and let people grow for personal use. You would suddenly have millions of more gardeners in this country. And we should be legalizing this at the federal level so we no longer have these weird arbitrary lines where it's legal in some places and literally two miles away, it's illegal. This just leads to people wasting a lot of time and money and burning a lot of gas driving to where they can get what they need. We need to localize production of everything as much as possible to reduce our carbon emissions. And marijuana shouldn't be an exception to that. Thanks for tuning in. This Sunday Zoom session is going to be on single payer healthcare and why I think it is the only truly sane fix for our current healthcare debacle. I'm Yana Ludwig and I am running for Wyoming's open US Senate seat. Thanks.